welcome back in this tutorial I'm going to show you two things one is how to bind classes with Vue.js logic and the second is computed properties now to start with I'm going to use the JS fiddle which I left in my first tutorial you can continue with the same and edit it this is basically where I am adding the two rows and deleting them and now before we go into those two things I want to show you a quick little if condition in our templates if there are no to do's we are not displaying any images right sorry any any comment to the user that you know you don't have a to do so I would ideally want to display a message that please add your own to do so what I will do is this is the UL so I can put my logic here I will say the basic idea is if our to do's dot length is greater than zero then obviously we are going to display the list or else I will display this div using v else and I will have a mes my message you don't have any to do's simple enough right so yeah I will delete this and we get that I will add a p tag so that it looks a little spaced out yeah so delete it and yes you don't have any to do's so as you can see it is so simple to add these small small tweaks in our application and once we add a new one this div is not visible anymore okay so yeah that's how we can use the if conditions and uh, display conditional data now let's look at computed properties so first I will add a new attribute in our to do object called computed sorry completed and let me add it to the new to do as well this is the blank object which we are using through our ng sorry the v model okay and yeah i'll add this here as well this is where we are resetting the new to do and after we are adding the to do list right okay so with that done i have all the list items and i want to have a strike through if my to do is complete so let's write down some CSS very simple ones I will have a completed class okay which is going to be an li dot complete so in that I'll set the text decoration to line through which will give me a striked out effect all right and now comes the class binding so I already have a class list group item and I want additional classes based on the conditions so we have a property in view called v bind and then class so what it will do is bind the class based on the data object in this what I really want to do is I want to have the class completed if my to do dot completed is true okay so yep let us quickly run this and see okay now it was false so if I change it to true and run it again yes it is coming which means our condition is working the only thing now we need to do is let's say so let's say we want to show the count of the to do's which we are going to show now as you can see I'm doing to do's dot length and if there are any custom conditions then you can easily understand that we are adding too much logic in our view right then I will have to do a if condition and then if this then that otherwise do this which can be quite difficult to manage and difficult to read as well but I want to keep things simple and so let's 
now in this scenario use computed properties what computed properties will allow us to do is handle the data and create some additional properties which can be returned through a function so I have an object called computed in that let's add a key called to do count and what to do count will return is basically this dot to do's dot length okay so with that I can copy this paste it here run it again okay there's some problem in the code that's why it's not working let me inspect it okay so my comma was missing and that's the reason it was breaking there okay with that fixed I should have yes my to do's is one if I add new one so my count is increasing now you can see that you know, I didn't have to do any length or anything into that and now let's improve the conditions for some reason I want to say that if the length is less than or equal to 5 okay I will return the length which is 1 2 3 4 5 else I will return just too many okay strange but yeah just for example so let's run the app okay we have one now let me add one by one two three four so we have five and now so you see we have very easily added this logic using the computer property and it is live uh, it's two-way binding is available so any change in the data will ensure that our view is rendering the correct thing so yeah for now we'll stick to what is the length of the to-do array but yeah so if I delete you can see quickly it turned from too many to the length which is kind of very useful in many situations in our app so yeah that's how we use computed properties and now let's run my app again once more after the cleanup okay so yeah things are working properly we have completed and we are showing go shopping which is completed as strike through but we don't have any button to change the status right I would ideally want that if a task is complete first of all there should be a button which says complete in green color and if it is not then it should say pending and it should be ideally red in color okay so let's look at how we can add them so we'll first add a method let's name it to do completed and we will pass our to do okay in this what practically we are going to do is if the to do dot complete is true we are going to make it false and if it is false then we are going to make it true so basically we are inversing it right so I'll do to do complete equals not to do completed yeah that's it now we need a button obviously we only have a delete button so I'm coming here I'll copy this button paste it here and let's just say it is I'll need some conditional text right so first add the function this is completed but what I would ideally want is if completed is true it will be completed or else it will be pending right so let's add that logic as well so I'll put it in the bracket I'll say to do dot completed if that's true then say completed else say pending yeah it's that easy and with the button ready yes we have the button okay and right we have pending okay what's the problem so now both of them are warning but ideally I want if it is complete it should be button success or else it should be error the red one so I will remove this from here and we'll again use the vbind class property which we have used 
for strike through right so v bind class equals now what i will do here is so i'll add the class btn success if to do dot completed is true and i'll add btn danger if to do dot completed is false is not to do completed which means all right let's quickly run it okay i have read which is strange it is exactly the opposite completed should have been in green color what is the problem this is correct this is pending if not completed um, let me see pending is currently in red color which means my completed logic is not working okay I got it it's a spelling mistake that's what was breaking the code so yeah I delete it should run now yes a green colored button which says completed and if I add a new one pending it's red in color and if I click it it is changing so yeah it's working perfectly the way we wanted so now the buttons are sticking together let us write some CSS theme and quickly fix that I will have a class called margin write 10 okay which has margin write 10 I generally use these classes as common classes so that I can stick it at any place okay um, yeah ideally it should be in this button so let me stick it here uh, run the app all right so yeah this is working perf perfectly we have completed the computed properties and we have also seen how we can conditionally add classes using vbind class and yeah that's about it so in the next tutorial what I'm going to do is break this entire app into two different components one being the to-do list component and the second one being the to-do form to add the to-do okay and both the components will be talking to each other exchanging data and this way we can you know distribute or divide the application logic so yeah that's about it if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and share it on facebook twitter and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel